So I'm gonna be doing this makeup look that matches this hair. Um, but the thing is, I know you guys peep this monstrosity on my face. I know you guys see this mountain on my chin. I know you guys are so close to calling me crimson chin, and I agree with you. I agree. This pimple right here is taking over my life. It really is, it hurts. But it's that monthly pimple, so we're gonna have to work around it. We're gonna have to do a lot of stuff. I'm gonna straighten my hair, cause I like to straighten my hair first. And then I'm gonna do my makeup look. Well, I'm gonna attempt to do surgery on my face. <clears throat> I already, like, I glued this down already the way, like, I do every other wig. Same, 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 same. Same, same, but different. No, this time it's same, same. I did exactly the same thing. So this hair is from Icy, Icy, Ice, Icy Hair Company. This hair is from Icy Hair Company, and they sent me this blue hair. It was pretty pretty. I believe this hair is 20 inches. The hair didn't come like this because I honestly I tried to attempt to record this video already once, <laughs> and that was a joke. That's why the hair looks like that. It's not because it came out the hip the box like that. I took it down and I'm putting it back on. That's pretty much fine. Yeah. at the end but I like to have my hair straightened in the process because then I feel ugly and I need to get hyped before I do my makeup I need to be like hype you know what I'm saying I listen to music but whatever I'm gonna attempt I'm gonna be honest I'm going to attempt to cover this shit okay okay I'm gonna use this it's a color corrector from elf I'm gonna use this I'm gonna see if this this is trash it doesn't correct anything. It's the only thing I've got. Okay, let's just smack that on there. Smack it. Smack it. I'll put some Sasha Buttercup on top of it. See if that helps helps me out because I need help. It's not bad. I guess I mean I'll just put some over here too. have like bags and dark circles uh I should, i'm just used to it to be honest at this point nothing now all right we we assessed the areas we needed to assess especially this one so I heard or I saw that some people they put powder before their foundation. I've never done that before. I'm about to try it for the very first time. But I needed I needed to do something with this. I need to. I usually use my uh, Fenty Beauty um, stick foundation, but I I don't think that's gonna work if I put it over this. So I'm gonna use a liquid foundation. To make this. Wait, this is not my shade. I'm like OD light right now. I'm trying, I need to get a tan, but I'm gonna get myself back together, but. Can you guys still see it? Cause I still see it. I still see it. <laughs> it's, it's still there. My makeup come out trash too already, I know why. Um, I don't 
don't know if you guys have been noticing, but the algorithm in YouTube lately has been pretty much kicking everybody's butt. Right now, my videos have been doing so horribly on you on YouTube, but it, I know it's partially my fault because I'm not consistent. That's why I'm trying to change that, but it's crazy. It's the algorithm of YouTube. It's like they, they purposely don't show like they don't put the videos for people to see it like that. It's, it's really messed up. It's really messed up. I've seen people with millions of views, millions of subscribers, and it's the same thing happening to them. Same exact same thing happening to them. give my all in my videos especially with my editing because I think it's fun I think it's new I think it's different I think it's refreshing actually I have always, I was always into kind of like trippy videos I love trippy things I love trippy things so I'm gonna say when I watch your videos I feel like I'm on drugs don't do drugs but thank you I constantly get a lot of people telling me like don't post that don't post this don't post that don't do this don't do that and because of that i don't really go as hard as i want to I'm not saying that i'm gonna do something wild it's just i don't feel free to just express myself any way that i want because i always have people watching me and i'm supposed to set an example and i already feel like as the pep person that i am i set an example like i'm a very responsible person I'm not over here doing crazy stuff. I'm over it. Yeah, I'm over it. Like, I'm a grown woman. I might, I don't do anything out of bad intention or to bring harm to other people. I just like to have fun. I like to just express myself. And I feel like hair, pictures, makeup, or ways you can, in, in clothing, or ways you can express yourself. And that's how I feel. I am who I want to be, but I always, I, it's, just, it's a weird feeling when you have someone who, um, when you have people who are, are, have an image of you, so they, how do you say, they have an image of you, so they always want, they always on top of you to maintain the image they want you to have. Does that make sense? I think I care too much for people and too much about what other people think. And that's why I'm trying to change that because I feel like in the future I'm going to regret it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not about to put highlight on my chin. I'm just playing myself at that point. This anyone can see this from space at this point. I'm not about to do that. Let's continue. I am usually not an emotional i am an emotional i am a non-emotional emotional person when i say that i mean as in like i'm not emotional i'm actually i have been called an asshole because i'm so like nonchalant that that's normally how i am for the most part but with me like once i'm the type of person who's like i have like that barrier but then once you cross that barrier and you're in the emotional puddle Swim at your own risk. Because it takes a lot for me to like let my emotions out, but when I let my emotions out, you will know how I feel. So it takes a lot to push me to get there, but when I get there, I I get there. I normally don't put anything on my lids because it kind of looks like it has an eyeshadow already. So I normally just don't put anything on my lids. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Take some of this powder. I like to do my eyeshadow last because then I can really know like how things are going but I don't um since I have my eyebrows that thick like this I don't really go too much I, I let it be I chill back let it be okay I'm Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color chocolate like me 
it's gonna be very easy i'm gonna just do something like so it doesn't look like the end just got eaten by a shark like let's make it look like it had a full course meal that's what i'm about to do i like that natural eyebrow look another thing about me is that i like to be light i can, and i can admit that i like to be light i'm not the type of person that's looking for haters no i i like to be liked i like i want everyone to like me and i know it's not realistic nor will it happen but it does it does make me feel bad you know people are mean there are certain things that i'm like all right chill now you just just talking to talk like that doesn't even it's not even a plaque a, a plaque a plic it's not even applicable so i don't let it phase me but there are some times where i'm just like i'm just I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm out of my own business. Like, why don't you like me? I didn't do nothing. Ow! Jesus, another pimple? Yo, what's going on this month? It's messing with my face. Okay, guys, please, please don't judge me. I can't find my spoolie. I'm gonna use my tooth, my hair, edges brush. I know, I know, I know what it looks like. But for the sake of this moment, this. This is done. Now we're gonna do is we gonna shape it up. Shape, shape, shape it up. Okay, I like to take one, I like to take a concealer that's close to my, my thingy because I don't like that too light. It looks, it makes my, this bone stick out and I'm not trying to have that caveman look. So I like to keep it chill. My makeup's real chill for the most part. contouring so i'm gonna take this powder so far these powders have been matching me so well and i like them a lot so i've been using these consistently this is usually my actual skin color but right now i'm a little on the lighter side and it's a little it's like my shape but it's a tiny tiny bit darker i get very hyper when i eat sweets or caffeine like a little kid like a child so for this i am going to do i didn't contour com or like completely yet i'm gonna do more but i'll do that in a second i can't rush the process okay so i'm pretty much taking this remo london so i'm gonna take the like the light blue the it's like a really baby blue this color put it like in the ends like a little ombre come on ombre stage because I need to be one inch away from the mirror when I do this and it was not going to be pleasant for you guys to see it. Yeah. Oh my goodness. A little bit more 
more more contour just a tiny bit because i don't feel as sharp make them a little more pronounced, you know what I'm saying? because that's my favorite so far i tried the morphe spray i tried the max spray i like the max spray better than the morphe spray but the marbadescu affordable and it does the job <laughs> since we got blue hair and blue eyes i'm keeping it Neutral with a brown pencil. Um, this one is cork. This is my go-to. It's Mac by it's cork. It's cork by Mac, and it's my favorite. I've been using this for literally like the last five years. But I'm about to upgrade. I want something a little darker. I don't know where my sharpener is at. Okay, and I'm not gonna finesse you guys and be like, I'm gonna try to squeeze it out and scratch the crap out of my lip till something comes out. You know, actually this does help because it makes your lips plump by the time, like you scratching it on your lips is making your lips plump because when you put on this, this is LA Girl Glossy Plumping Lip Gloss, your lips are going to be even more plump because it's been scratched. tingles that's what you want you want it to tingle i pulled myself together pretty well i looked like a hot mess in the beginning and look at me now thanks guys <laughs> Thank you. 